Hello everyone, I'm Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how a narcissist reacts when you leave them. Please give the video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. How does a narcissist react when you leave them? Narcissists are extremely insecure, so they need everything to be on their terms, which is why they set out these very specific cycles of abuse, where they love bomb you, devalue you, discard you and hoover you. But how do they react when things do not go as they have planned? Narcissists always follow very specific patterns of behavior where they can feel better about themselves by painting you as the bad person. So when you're fed up of everything they put you through and you're revealing to them your plans to leave them, initially they won't believe it. They won't think that you will ever leave them because they know they've done a good job on trauma bonding you, targeting you financially and crushing your self-esteem to where they don't think you would ever have the nerve to leave them because they know they are in control of you and the situation. So they're not thinking about the future. They're not thinking that you're going to leave. They assume that you're going to stay and that everything's going to go back to normal. They won't believe that you're going to leave. They won't believe that it's even possible. Because in their minds, there is nowhere for you to go. You're not going to be able to find a better situation. So why would you even try to leave? But when you do leave, they are baffled. They are shocked to the core because they never thought you'd be able to muster up the courage to do that. But then they also feel betrayed. Because even though they may have abused you for years, the act of you leaving feels like a violation of trust and confidence to them. They don't really care about what they did to you. They are focused on how in their minds you betrayed them because you walked away from the relationship. So then they get very angry because they see you as their possession. So they feel entitled to you. They feel entitled to this public image of the relationship or the family and of all of the admiration and praise that they get from other people. So initially, they might not tell anyone because they're still in an uncertain state about how they're going to get you back. But in order to do that, they first have to enter a state of denial. They have to gaslight themselves. They have to make up excuses in their head for why you left. And those excuses can't have anything to do with them. It has to be because something is wrong with you or because you don't care about them anymore. So they will create a list of things that you have done wrong for why you left because it can't be their fault. In their minds, they are loyal, honest and trustworthy. They're showing up. You're the one who gave up. So then they play the victim because if they're a victim and it's not their fault, they flip the script on what actually happened so that they don't have to feel bad about themselves. And then they run a smear campaign, which they may have been doing before the relationship even ended, where they were talking about you behind your back to your friends and family, while acting as though they're concerned about you so that it gets everyone on their side. They smear you so that it gives them the ability to hurt you in front of other people because they want you to feel bad for leaving them and they may also hope that it causes you to reach out to them. They may bring in other people to hoover you back so that you then end up with all of their flying monkeys spying on you and putting you down all while acting concerned about you when they may not know anything about the abuse that you have endured. So they pull a bunch of people into their false reality by misleading them about what's actually going on. And this happens so many times to people. 
where the narcissist suddenly befriends people who they never wanted to be friends with before. They start attending places that you go to because they want to control other people by giving them false information so that they start to believe that something must be wrong with you. And then they turn up, observe and investigate and then give an account of what they've reviewed back to the narcissist which gives the narcissist a sense of connection to you. The flying monkeys are there to persuade you to do things and to cause you to believe in the truth of something. But they may also be there to carry out revenge. And then the narcissist may become really vengeful and unforgiving, especially when they see that you're consistently holding boundaries and you're refusing to do what they want you to do or to be the type of person that they want you to be. So then it frustrates them and they become even more abusive to where they may even start stalking you. And it could get even worse to where they create fake accounts or they call you from different numbers and they may even deliberately destroy or damage your property because they want to get back at you. You made them feel pain, so now they want to make you feel pain. But they don't just want to hurt you one time. They want to hurt you over and over because you took away their control over you. So for a narcissist, it is a pain that never ends. When you leave a narcissist, they will use their flying monkeys to clear themselves of blame and suspicion and to prove to themselves and other people that what they're doing is right, reasonable and justified. They want to do what they're going to do to you because they don't want you to do it to them. They don't want you to reject them. They don't want you to take away their right to you. They don't want you to make them look bad to other people. So they will do whatever they have to do to hurt you. And one of the easiest ways for them to hurt you is by triangulating you with their new supply and by flaunting their new supply on social media to show everyone that they finally found their soulmate while you were just a broken, horrible person. But they're not really getting everything that they wanted. They're just using it as a trigger to get you back. To make you chase after them so that they feel better. Because by this point they will be pushing everyone else away. But even while they're triggering you to chase after them. They will focus all of their time on the new supply. Because the new supply doesn't know them. They don't understand all of the things that the narcissist has done. So the narcissist can play the victim and act like none of it was their fault. But just because they have a new supply, that doesn't mean that they won't come back. They will still come back because the new supply won't fix the situation. They won't be able to change the narcissist. You may think that they have changed, but if they did change, why are they still appearing suddenly? Why are they still interacting with you? The narcissist will still hoover you even if they are in a relationship, even if they have children, because they don't care. They want to be able to interact with all of their previous exes whenever they want to, so that they can get the emotional or sexual validation that they're looking for. Which is why the narcissist may occasionally beg you to come back and it may confuse you because previously they didn't seem to care and then you left them but they're only begging you so that they can later discard you because after you rejected them they feel like they lost control so they want to get back with you just so they can later disappear because by that point they will have the upper hand thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate to paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one on one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.